Hello. Today I'm going to be reading a book of why we celebrate Passover, but I'm not going to be reading the whole book. I'm just going to be reading the story of why we celebrate Passover. When famine came to Canaan, the land where the Israelites lived, many took refuge, refuge um, in Egypt. At first, their lives were happy. Over many hundreds of years, however, the Israelites grew in number. One day, a new pharaoh, the Egyptian leader, began to fear the strength of the Israelites. He began to fear the strength of the Israelites. He made them do all. He made them all into slaves, forcing them to work long hours at hard jobs with no pay. One Israelite woman had a son, but kept him hidden away. Finally, when he was too big to disguise any longer, she made a basket of reeds. Um, she put him. She put the baby inside, and set it adrift in the Nile River. An Egyptian princess who was bathing nearby discovered the child. She took pity on him and brought him to the castle to be raised. She gave the child the name Moses, which means to draw up from the water. Although he grew up in in a in the palace as an Egyptian, Moses knew the Israelites were his people. One day, Moses saw an Egyptian beating a poor Israelite. He could not control his anger, um, and and hurt the Egyptian. Then Moses had to flee for his life. Moses be became a shepherd. One day, as he watched a bush burn into into flames, although the bush although the bur bush burnt its leaves, it, it stayed fresh and green. Curious, Moses approached the burning bush. It was then that he heard the voice of God. God commanded Moses to return to to Egypt to lead his suffering people to a new land where they would once again be free and propose God promised to help Moses. So Moses came to Pharaoh and said, let my people go. Pharaoh, who did not believe in the, in the God of Moses, answered, why should I let them go? I do not know your God or any reason I should obey the Lord. He sent Moses away. Then he ordered the Israelites to work even harder. They had to make and carry bricks from, from dawn until dusk. The work was tiring, and the Israelites stumbled under their, their heavy loads. The Egyptians beat, beat them unmercifully. Unmercifully. <laughs> Um, Moses returned again and asked Pharaoh to release his people. Again, Pharaoh refused. With God's help, Moses took his staff and turned the water into a river to, from in the river to blood to show the Egyptians the power of God. This was, this was but the first of ten plagues that the Lord sent down upon the Egyptians. When when Pharaoh still refused to let the Israelites go, God sent a plague of frogs. They were leaping everywhere, and their croaking was deafening. 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 Pharaoh said, "I will let your pe your people go if you will send if you will only send the frogs away." But when Moses did as Pharaoh asked, the Egyptian leader went back on his word. So God sent more plagues and turned the dust of desert into lice. They covered the bodies of Egyptians, biting them. God sent an illness that, that killed the cattle and horses. God sent flies buzzing into every Egyptian household. One day, the Egyptian woke up to find themselves covered with boils. Still, Pharaoh did not want to free the Israelites. He turned Moses away each time he came to the palace to beg for the release of his people. 
Next, the Lord sent a violent hailstorm to ravage the the departed. The crops had been devoured. Then Moses stretched out for a hand, and God covered the land in light in darkness for three days and three nights. There is no light. Still, Pharaoh refused to give the Israelites their freedom. Finally, God spoke to Moses, "I will send one more plague, worse than all the others. After that, I know Pharaoh will let you leave Egypt." Moses told Pharaoh that an angel of the Lord would pass over Egypt and hurt the firstborn son in every household. God told Moses. On the tenth day of this month, every family of Israel should bring a perfect lamb into their home. On the evening of the fourteenth day, the lamb should be killed and its blood smeared on the doorpost of the house. On that night, Moses gave God's instructions to the Israelites, and they followed them. They roasted the lamb and ate it. For for it was the night of the Lord's Passover, and God commanded them, "You shall keep this feast of Passover forever, to remember how I brought you forth from the land of Egypt." At midnight, every Egyptian firstborn disappeared in every household. Only the Israelites. Who had marked their doorposts with lambs' blood? Has the Passover sar- sacrifice were spared? Pharaoh called Moses. He said, "Take your people away from my land. Go tonight. Your God is more powerful even than Pharaoh." And so the Israelites were freed from their bondage. Quickly, they gathered together all the possessions, all the possessions they could carry. Those who were making bread baked the dough without giving it time to rise. They had to leave right away in case the pharaoh should change his mind. For several days, the Israelites traveled across the desert until they came to the shores of the Red Sea. Then they heard the chariot. Wheels of Pharaoh's army approaching quickly.、Um, they realized that Pharaoh wanted to take them back to slavery. The Israelites were in despair. Suddenly, God opened the waters of the sea. Of the sea, the waters divided and parted, allowing om- allowing the Israelites to walk across the dry ground. Once they were safely to the other side, the sea flooded back. Pharaoh's army. Which was following the Israelites drowned. The Israelites trusted in God, and God helped them, helped to set them free. They gained their liberation, liberation, liberation from slavery on that day. The Passover Seder、um, celebrates that freedom. Thank you for listening.